Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing, doing an update on one of my projects as you can see here. Now what this actually here is, is the GMC General tractor that I just, what I decided to do was turn it into a dump truck as seen here by using the MPC gravel trailer. So pretty much got, pretty much want to do an update saying how far I've got saying how much I've gotten on it so far. So, pretty much with this is that it's currently uh, all staying loosely together. Then, with some of the extra parts, I did decide to build the uh, trailer dolly unit. That'll go behind, like so. So, gonna be painting these up shortly here. So, pretty much everything here is just loosely together. So, just carefully take the tires off. So far, I decided to paint the outer wheels silver as to represent being aluminum instead of being chrome. So, going to be doing that with the rest of the tires. Then we'll eventually get to doing that on the fronts. So, put those to the side. And then, got some things like the hood. Loosely in, then did get these engine assembled. And now actually with this, because I wanted to do the dump truck, main inspiration actually was because the truck could be built as a, with a sleeper unit or a day cab. And of course most dump trucks only come in the day cab configuration. Decided to do that. And in order to actually do so, <clears throat> To make it look accurate, decide to splice the frame in half in the small portion. So right here were some guidelines. So shrunk it was about inch and a quarter too long. So then shrunk it by so far by an inch and a quarter, or just just over an inch. So then had that glued all together. I'm waiting on to gain some model putty to fill in the seams just to make it look more presentable. But I have to realize that with the gas tanks that come with the kit, they simply just mount over top of the seams. So you actually really can't you really can't see them all that much. And then I did have the then you can sort of see here where there's some residue. I did have the extra steps installed, but I didn't realize in doing so, I didn't have enough room to mount the tanks. And while, yeah, I could have gotten smaller tanks, so I decided just to use what I've got and try not to get any more extra parts than I really have to. And actually, originally building this did have a slight dilemma how I was missing one of the side, both battery box support rails, or not the rails, the brackets themselves. I w did try to order them. They get did get ordered, but it, by the time I end up getting those, and of course me being up in Canada here, it takes forever to get stuff. So I decided just to go get another GMC general kit, which actually helps with that. I can actually continue working on this build. So, got the battery box in, which will be painted up in, which will probably be an accent color, but pretty much got all the chassis together. <clears throat> Hang on. Sorry. So then, then also in doing so, in short, so yeah, also in shortening the frame, had to uh, slice off the drive shaft end. So pretty much with the engine or the shaft going from the shack or the shackle support, pretty much have it so that trimmed it off from here as that would be most realistic for a shortened drive shaft. Then so then engine really just fits in like so. 
will just fit in. Then drive shaft will just slip, go in, then the engine will fit right in. So, that and then pretty much paint the engine or paint the frame all in black, rust it up a little bit, take the engine, paint this up in the Detroit green. So, that'll be good. Now, one thing that why I was originally building this and shortening the frame is that how the cab sit, how the cab sits. I didn't know for the for the exhaust. I didn't know if it was going to be if I was going to mount it behind or to the side. So what I ended up deciding doing just keep it going to the side, going up beside the cab just behind. Because I didn't realize when I had the box on, it got relatively close. But then at the same time, I didn't want to look disproportionate, be having too much of a space between the back of the cab and the front of the box. So, pretty much shortened it to where it looks good enough for now. And then, pretty much just, I get paint, do some detail work. And then... There is some some slight residue along the frame rails. This was pretty much gluing gluing and ungluing the actual the actual bars that are used on the dump bed for it to art, for it to articulate. So and with that got got the box here all put together, ready to be painted. Now, slightly before filming, I ended up misplacing the cross member support, which I'm sure I'm going to be finding it here soon. But pretty much just have that for now. And then, yeah. Then I will say, for every, despite having this needed to be cut, cut up and then re-glued, this wasn't wasn't that bad with the guidelines that are shown. So, pretty much so far looking good. And then, also since going to be for the paint scheme of the actual truck, I originally for a while I wasn't sure what to do, but I ended up getting getting the decals from from the new kit that I got. Which are actually, which are actually the stripe ones. Yeah, so right here with the with the stripes that I think that came from the other GM, the new released version of the GMC General, as the one I'm building was the Coca Cola version. So now I have some extra decals. So fair, put these to good use. Use them on the truck, and of course do the as this is a 76, 77, 78 model. Figured might as well do it in like a 70s or early 80s paint scheme. So going to have the stripes and then just need to find a good subtle accent color to paint everything in. Then pretty much for the cabin then the interior will just be basic gray. Then for the dump box of course probably be either stone gray or, or silver as... That's what you can find most dump truck beds in. So, for much that, for much that's going to be concluding for the, for this current update. Don't want to go on too long. So, that's pretty. That's pretty much what I've got so far. Hopefully, next update in a couple days, we're going to have it all painted up and just do some fine detail work here and there. So. That will be it for this video, and until next time, see ya.